boom we're live hey everybody welcome to our stream let's continue where we stopped and more or less this is how i start all of my streams nowadays anyways hey everybody hey valentina haven't seen you in a few days or in a few streams that is all right uh while i was actually waiting for the stream to uh start i needed to get a better idea about the way that uh, the scene feels so when you're moving around so just so you can get a bit of a better uh, feel so what I did is I opened it up in Unreal so you can just like walk around and get a better feel for the uh, room and I can say that more or less the scale for this house is pretty on spot like pretty well made like even with the uh, outside that we did here with the uh, roofing gives it a really really nice feel like when, when you're walking around you get this spacious feel so once you go inside the door and uh, the room kind of feels or the space kind of feels really opened up and everything and just really quickly add in a uh, placeholder for a roof so we can see how it's gonna look like that For some reason, I guess I did not export out the roof, but yeah. So when you walk into our room, on the left side we have the uh, sitting room. On the right side we have this room which is going to be something, we still don't know what it is going to be. Uh, you walk in here, you get a spacious kitchen. And this place here might need something added. I'm not sure, I'm just, where was the, uh, oh yeah, there it is, no grid. Turn off the damn grid, there we go. Okay. So, kitchen looks okay. This folding room kinda looks weird since it's the first uh <laughs> room when you walk in it's just like laundry room but whatever we made it uh we got the kitchen on this side and the kitchen looks not the kitchen but the uh, the bathroom the bathroom looks a bit well unconventional that's all i'm gonna say uh it's interesting nonetheless so yeah it's functional the sleeping quarters the bedroom is still okay so all in all we got some nice distribution of things for this house so cool we can start or we can continue creating some stuff to fill up this house with something that's going to give it more character and make it more interesting so for now i'm gonna all right save selected Ah, come on. I just imported this thing. Wait, what? Ah, of course, no map. Dusty map. All right. So get back to our scene and let's see what we have. Uh, the amazing guy is not going to be needed. So hi. Oh, wait a second. What how did I just hide with the amazing guy? Really? All of these things are... Yeah, no. So all of these... First of all, let me just rename these. Uh, rename, rename, rename. Window. Number zero to one is fine. Prefix nah, suffix nah, zero to one, rename. Okay, so now there are windows and move them over for now in the default. That's fine. Add to active layer, hide the amazing guy. There we go. 
All right, one by one. Now, no more patio. So we can see what the hell we can do. We're doing. And cool. Are you planning on creating a f uh, Unreal Full Architecture animation course? Uh, I've said that animation is not what I usually do. I do know how to make it. Like in Unreal, it's not even that hard. All you got to do is just uh, give you a camera. Uh, well, a, f a thing to follow but honestly though for architecture animation what you want to do is you want to dive in a bit more into cinematics how to make your scenes pop out anyways uh, what are we doing this uh, stream any ideas let me open up the discord so you guys can share some some of your ideas and let's see where do we go from here? All right. Streaming related is fine. Put this thing over on this side. There we go. All right. So last time we said that we were going to make some of the appliances for our uh, the laundry room, the washer and the dryer. So yeah, why not? Let's pop off a few uh, images for uh, washers and dryers. Actually, I even think that we got uh, some of those reference images for the washer and dryer. Let me just check it out. Yeah, something like this and something like this. I think this one looks even better. What do you guys think? Should we make something like this? And we can double it down. Just make some minor changes to this and make it basically a dryer and a washer. Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right, let me just quickly check the size, the measure, 60, 50, 85. I'm going to save this and hit it off with a uh, new scene. 60, 50, 85. So 60, 50, 85. So this is supposed to be the placeholder for this washer or the dryer machine, whatever you want to call it. And this is a drying machine, this one. So let's go ahead and really quickly prep it up for our blueprint. Oh, wait a second, there's a washing machine, something like this. So we got washing and drying machine. They're very, very similar to each other. That's fine. All right, which one would you guys like to uh, do? The left one or the right one? Which one looks more cool? Honestly, though, I like this one more. So we got one going for the right one. Smart whirlpool. Right one. Ah, it's the same thing. There's no such thing as easy or harder. It's all just polygons. It's the same thing. It's not gonna be a problem. Me honestly, I think I like this one more. It's more futuristic. It can double down. Hey, whatever. Two two guys go for the right one. I guess we'll do the right one. And now Mark just goes left. And I'm go I like the left one as well. So we got two and two for now. Come on. Cast your votes. Valentina said left. Three and two now. I'm giving y'all another twenty second. Man, you're also gullible. As soon as I tell you to do something, you do it. Just like I have to tell you, go like the video, man. Drop a like. 
Hot damn. Let me see how many likes have you guys dropped so far. My channel says 15 people watching, 7 likes. God damn. Alright, I guess another 8 people still haven't decided that they like the stream. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's drop it in. It was the uh, this one. So really quickly, just prep it up. A new layer. Fill it up with uh, color. Drop it. Uh, do something like... Yeah. 50. Oh, way too much. Way too blue. Smith feels like a smurf. There you go. Save as. Let's uh, save it down as dryer BP for blueprint. Save it down and okay. All right. Nope. Now, let's apply this to a plane. First of all, let's check the details. The detail. Ooh, it's a huge picture. Okay, so plane will be in here 285. So 285, no, 284. Point five by two oh seven point three. Okay, so for now, if I the the way that I am uh, putting in these numbers is I'm just checking out the dimensions here. So two eighty four point five, two eighty four point five, two oh seven point three, two oh seven point three. So this will allow me to take it as a oh what is this okay I guess this and now let's just do something I like this reset the material editor there we go okay put the diffuse in here make it show up like this and now I know for a fact that the size of this uh, dryer or washing machine should be the size of this thing. So I'm just going to take this thing and scale it inwards until it gets to be this size. But now a bit of a problem as it's... I'm guessing this is a different size. But yeah, the height really not that important because it kind of varies. So I can remove this, and now I have this more, uh, more or less in tune with what it's supposed to be. So 77, that's okay. All right, so reset X form on this. Convert to a little poly. And zero, zero, zero. Move it back. Very, no, object properties. Freeze, show frozen in gray. Okay. All right. Now we have our base from which we can start creating stuff. All right. Now I'm going to hit it with a box for this size. I know for a fact that this is supposed to be 50. So it's going to be 70 by 50 by 50 or 72. All right. Cool. Hey, Stan. What up, man? All right, what do we have here? Twenty watching. Cool. Okay. I have this. I want to save it up. Japanese style and here we have washing machine or dryer machine whatever it's a machine all right there we go 
Okay. Seeing this, uh, the first thing I would like to do is plus uh, how do you make this block transparent? The way to do make the block transparent, just hold on Alt and X. Alt X will make it see through. So it's a transparent look. All right. Uh, damn it, I hate when this happens, when I un unfreeze all and this thing as, damn it. These are edges are not supposed to be there. So freeze now, there we go. Okay, uh, first thing that I want to do is I want to define and later on refine. So knowing that, I can see that this thing has uh, the corner here and everything inside here actually has that bevel. So let me just do this. I'm gonna hide for now so I can see it better. It has this bevel going across and it has this middle part like an indentation and then the front comes on. I'm guessing this is a different uh, cover here in the front. So what I would like to do first is make the definition here for that corner. But before I do that though, I want to take the two edges here, actually the four edges on the corners and round them up a bit. So if I chamfer these, yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, look. There we go. Maybe make it a bit bigger, maybe something like, yeah, something like two centimeters, that'll work. All right, cool. Now, I do want to use symmetry on this one. So if I, no, it's gonna be this one, right? Yep. Yeah. Now I can just work on one side. There we go, like that. Well, let's just connect that edge with that one. That one over there. Snap that thing in here and cut from there to there. Okay. Let's check it out. Yep, sides are fine. They're rounded off really well. Uh, I want to ask you, do the quick slice planes on Edit Poly? All right, in the quick slice plane, just select uh, anything that you have with the edge, select uh, edge selection and hit the quick slice, this button here. That will do uh, the thing. Otherwise, I do the slice plane. So you just click this thing and it can uh, help you like draw wherever you want this yellow um, plane and it will cut into your model. All right, turn off the slice plane. Okay, so next thing I want to do is actually get this cut here. I get maybe one here, two, three, and four. Probably should have done this thing on a plane instead of, a, so let's do it like this. It's gonna be easier for me to just basically give it a shell later on. So just not to make it too complicated for me. So by cutting it like this, now I can just go in Got this thing in like this. Got that thing over here. And yeah, let's do this cut in here as well. So one, two, three, and four. Ah, of course, this is not a weld issue. This is a moving issue because we're using symmetry. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to connect these because 
this like I said is gonna be a cover and in here I'm gonna do an inset like this there we go all right so the lower side in here I do want to weld it together so there is no actually inset in there all right there's this this weld mm, this one should stay done All right, so by having this, now what I can do is select all of that, but yeah, this one needs to go all the way down to here. This one not needed. And now since this is gonna be a different uh, element, what I can do is just get rid of it for now. There we go. Now for this, just select the piece in there make it extrude inwards a small amount not too much minus one maybe there we go let's get rid of the face that we just made here because there will be another cover up on that thing and i may make some uh, mistakes here but like I said I've never uh, done this model so I'm not really sure what to expect so we'll see how it goes as I'm making it but for now I don't think we're gonna have too, too many problems with it I have the corner there done so now I can do is select that edge give me a slight chamfer so you get a rounding up like this so 0 0.1 maybe. There we go. With a turbo smooth, this thing would look, yeah, rounded like I can see it over here. Maybe even two turbos. All right, go underneath. And like always, there has to be something that's gonna make me some weird Okay, really? Hey, sir. We've missed you for like two streams. So it's nice to have both of you here. All right, get that thing off. So now with the why is Why are you giving me this crap? Do I have something here? So let's see, uh, weld. All right, apparently there was two. All right. There we go. That thing is okay in there. For the cover. Now, uh, the this side from what I can see has that lip, but again, that's a, a different cover. Eh, not bad. I can live with this. All right, so if I have this, uh, let me just check. Yeah. All right, so now what I can do is get all of this, like all of these polygons. I can detach them as a clone and from it I can just work on it without actually ha uh, fearing that I'm going to screw up the geometry I already created so I'll make that thing visible the front a bit and now on it I can do well actually I can do three things I can either create uh, 
indentations for this or I can use a texture for it. It would be easier to use a texture. And for this one, I'm going to actually make the geometry for the uh, buttons. So let's go like this. Put it there. All right, one more in here. A yellow. There we go. One like this. Now, one in here. And actually, just select this half again. We're going to use symmetry. Center and snap there. Symmetry. There we go. All right, uh, chamfer. Oh, increase chamfer to something as big as this. Okay. Now, cut in from there to here, there to there. Delete this middle part. All right, symmetry is on. Uh, edit poly. Collapse this thing to another poly, regularize this, we get the actual turn. Now select this, 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 and this, regularize this. All right, cool. So I can select my inner piece, scale it outwards to actually get it to the position where I need to have the hole, like that. I can see it's a very sharp uh, cut there. So just one cut in there, one in here, and one in there. So now when I put on the turbo smooth, it should give me a very distinct cut. There we go, like this, what I can see over here. All right. Uh, and I might as well want to add in those two cuts for these buttons. So let's add those. Let me see if I actually have the supporting geometry. Yeah, I can just add in one in here. Make it on the X. I guess that's going to be enough. So one in there. All right, so select this, chamfer it like this, and go in. Cut from one, two, three, and four. Same thing here. Uh, delete that one, and it's fine. Regularize that one and rotate around. There we go. So again, this is not an actual button that uh, has a knob on it, but it just place to have that thing. So, all right, like this. Is it the same thing on the other side? Ah, yes, it is. So let's try with the symmetry. Yeah, I see it goes exactly in the same place which is what we want to do. So without that, edit poly. You know what, yeah, on top of the symmetry, edit poly, and we can now create the buttons for it and create this dial. For the dial, it's gonna be really easy. We're just gonna reuse the geometry that you already have. So select this. Well, actually select this edge here. Control click to select the polygon. Detach as a clone. And select that polygon that we just created. All right. Scale this thing in like that. Outwards a bit. So I can see if this thing protrudes. Yeah, it goes out way out. So let me just do this then. First of all, I want to get rid of this. I do want to have a small opening so it's actually uh, you can see where it goes in 
like that. Yeah, like so. And this edge over here, yeah, goes way up. Goes in. Goes in one more time. This one kind of dips in. And yeah, maybe something like this and collapse. Okay, so let's add in some support edges to hold this form. One in there, one on the inside, one over here, two, three, maybe one even here to help that transition. All right, turbo smooth here. I had to end with it's way too much, so I need to fix it. Select this, grow, grow, push it outwards, like so. Yeah, we can work with this. And not really that much need. That's not really that needed, but it's fine. And this can work. Kind of looks a bit weird. Oh, what happened with the four? Damn. All right, let me just fix this. I don't like the taper here it has. So I'm going to scale this out a bit more, like so maybe. And. You know what? Just meh. We know what the hell it is, so it's fine. For this one, though, I do want to do one thing here that I can see for a fact that this edge has something like this. And it has two more edges in here. So it's going to uh, get a sharper turn. Come on, just. Ah, damn it, what the hell? Fine, just ring, connect, two connections, two segments, and pinch them apart. So I should get a. Yeah, more pronounced look on that edge. It's fine. I could probably do the same thing here as well, but you know what? Really won't be seen. It's a bit of an overkill on details, so yeah. What is that? No. Okay, so for this, uh, I'm just gonna use a sphere. All right, sphere is fine. Put it in the right position. Squish it in. I can even make it a half a sphere. Oh, you know what? Just screw that idea. Why deal with something that's very simple, making it really com complicated, where you can just select this, squish it in like so, and we're done. We got our button. All right, make it so that the pivot is aligned with this. So now I can make a mirror on the X as a copy. There we go. Attach both of them together. They're called the buttons. There we go. That's cool. For the rest, we can get away with, by using just a texture for all of this. Unless we really, really want to. Whoa. All right. Yeah, but a texture will fix this. No need to go in and model all of those. Okay, so save. Now for this one, turbo smooth on. Give me a different color so you can see what the hell is going on. All right.
you get these guys with a different color again. I'm probably gonna do a bit of. Yeah, this is really sticking out like a sore thumb for me. So I think this thing, instead of having a indentation, it has a more of a outwards look. So it has a, like a slopey look. So I'm gonna do it like this. Maybe select. Is it? Eh. Yeah. Making it like this looks like some weird robot with it, uh, with an eye or two eyes and a nose. It's weird, but whatever. Anyways, let's continue on with what do I have here for the second part? Now this piece down here. Now. This thing does have a cover on the front. So if this is the cover, what I can do is, let me yeah, turn this thing on, off, it's fine. Let me just cut in the, yeah, that's the thing. It kind of looks like a koala bear. You see, even when I put on these, uh, Isolines, it gives it the head. Without it, it doesn't look like so. But when you show it, it kind of looks like a, a koala. It even has the beady eyes. But this koala has one huge, huge, either a mouth or a belly. So, yeah. Okay, let's cut in some. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, now. Me to get welded. from actually you know what that's a good thing to have go you go across from there to there you go from down to here this half is unneeded This one as well, same thing. All right, now let's move these guys into position. All right, delete this middle part because we don't need it. Now the thing here is, I think that this might have a bit of a curve on the this thing. I don't think it's totally flat. If you're judging by the way that the refract the reflections here on the light, so this might have a bit of a curve to it. Not sure though. We'll see. Or we might actually add that thing in. So if I put on the turbo smooth, yeah, it's gonna give me a nice turn there. So it's slopey here as well. I don't think it's slopey on this part because it's it's a panel. It's supposed to be flat. But yeah, you know what? We can just do the slopey thing, no problem. Just select these guys, push them up a bit, or push them out a bit. Maybe up to here. So like these guys, push them out like this. Or better yet, I can push those out once I'm finished with the whole thing. 
and for now I can just uh, leave it as planar so it's easier to work. Man, why did you have to say something about the damn koala? Now every time I look at this thing, it, it looks like a koala is staring back at me. Alright, that's fine. Hey Andre, you spent your uh, childhood in Australia. Well, crikey, mate. Actually, you know what? That's not needed for now because, like I said, that's gonna be a whole different thing. This is just supposed to be a place like this. So for this, I actually go and add in one edge in there. So make it a s subtle turn, there we go, like that. Two iterations. Yeah, that's gonna be fine now we need to create this inner piece here the inner piece is basically the actual washing machine so let's go and create a geometry that we already have or start with geometry that we already have so I don't have to match it to what uh, we have here so for that I'm gonna select this whole edge go with uh, create shape Make it linear, it's fine. Then select the line, isolate it, and let's go and define this thing from here to no. You know what? If I use edit poly, it's not going to be seen. So, what the hell? Connect, uh, refine. There we go. All right, delete that one. Now, if I put our edit poly, it's gonna be. S damn it! The hell. Okay. Really? Oh, of course, this thing is not welded down here. So welds. Weld. Weld. Now edit poly. Yeah, it works. Symmetry on. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Okay. There we go. And the isolate. That's fine. All right. Inset. delete this I can start off from here the symmetry is fine collapse to and we have added poly to work on there we go there we go whoa we got new language in chat is this check yes it is if it has those Z's and the S's and the C's and an absurd amount of S and Z's in the language, it's check. Alright, that's fine. Now for this, uh, okay. Let's do it like so. Alright, in we go like this. This has a dip to it this border here damn it pull it backwards ah, that's fine it won't be seen 
Now, for this one, this is where we gets a bit hairy because up until here and then all the way like this. So collapse this. All right. So now this edge here, if I control click, I can bevel it out. Definitely not at this height. Like so, maybe like two centimeters. So let's go two with uh, minus 0 0.5. And this is where we're going to have this uh, place for the handle. So if I open up the place for the handle, I'm going to see it's right on these three edges here. So I'm going to select uh, these like so and detach those as a clone. Turbo smooth on two iterations just so I can see what the, how this thing looks like. And somehow this thing is not regularized for uh, because it kind of looks wonky, wavy. So let me fix that thing before I do anything else. Select this, regularize, uh, fudge. Something is not right. I forgot that I actually use symmetry with this thing, so fine. I guess I'll have to retry, retrace, and go regularize. All right, let's try and see if regularize is gonna actually regularize all at the same shift, or I'm gonna actually have to do a bit of cleanup. Regularize, regularize. Right now, everything is supposed to be the same exact. I'm actually gonna have to delete this, move it down. So now with a turbo smooth, yeah, now it's much more in line with what I was doing. but kind of doesn't look like what I'm seeing there. So it doesn't have this second dip. So let's fix that. Okay, maybe like this. All right, so this second here dip is where the handle starts and it makes sense select this whole thing and move it back and now select these guys which was supposed to be the handle Okay, that kind of goes, yeah. So detach as a clone. Turbo smooth is on for that thing. And now for these guys, I want to get these extruded. All right. I can barely see anything with this all right so like this now move these back until I get to see the f shape and the shape is very very similar to something like this it's just a handle the weird thing here is that uh, the shape for this thing has a bit of a perspective uh, perspective distortion it's not a straightforward uh, image, so I'm getting a bit of a wonky feel for this. But nothing too 
bad. Just insert this thing inwards and bevel it in like this. All right, select these, push them back. And with the turbo smooth on, yeah, it's gonna give me a very similar result like I see in here. Now I just add in some uh, depth to this thing over here. There we go. So select all of those edges, the ones in the back as well. Move them so they have the same depth as these guys. There we go. And go target weld this thing to this thing, this thing to this thing, and add in some support edges over here. Maybe one that would go across, but nah. That's gonna screw up a other thing. So let's go with like this and see how this is gonna look. All right, unhide all. Alright, maybe just select this edge and push it outwards a bit more, like so, and add in one corner in here. There we go. And I think that we might... Be better if I do this. There we go. And uh, the way I edit what edges. All I'm doing is uh, every time you see me add an edge, this is basically me using Swift Loop. I have Swift Loop uh, set up as a shortcut, so that's how I add those edges. All right. I have this nice dip here, which can help you with the grip, but I don't think it's supposed to be grippy on this side. So let's move those uh, back a bit. Same with these. Hey man, every time you guys say you learn something new, it makes it makes my heart warm, you know? I like it when people learn something new. Makes you feel great. There we go. Yeah, just like Rebecca said, I have a video for shortcuts and how to set up your uh, shortcuts. Highly recommend it. All right, so for this, uh, let's add in just a couple of cuts in here and here to make that thing a bit sh uh, sharper. There we go. More pronounced edge. There we go. That's cool. And I do want to have one more really pronounced edge in here from because from what I can see this edge right here is we're gonna have a shift from metal going to the uh, this uh, plasticky look, and this plasticky look kind of turns right around here, like this. There we go. All right, cool. Well, we got this, which kind of makes it so that... Now, this part here is not plastic. This is glass or transparent plastic. So what I can do there as well. I'm trying to just uh, keep it more uh, detailed because I will be reusing this model, uh, I'm guessing, a lot. 
So I'm trying to make it as detailed as possible, for now at least. So detach, no, not, let me just see if I, you know what, I'm not going to detach this for nothing. I'm not detaching it, I'm just going to give it some pronounced uh, bordering in there. And the way that I can do it is select uh, this and bevel it a very small amount. 0 0.2 maybe and yeah, 0 0.1. So this should, with the turbo smooth, should give me a different, yeah, there we go. I get that nice ridge in there. Okay, cool. So if we have this and we have uh, this, the only thing that is going to be visible from the outside is actually the inside of this thing. And I'm not going to spend too, uh, too much time doing it. All I'm going to do is just make a cylinder, place it in the middle, make it as big as that. Now give it some height. There we go. Make it so it has one. And in here, just edit poly. There we go. Delete that. First of all, just remove this red color. It's ridiculous. There we go. Now remove that edge as well. There we go. Outwards. Just make sure it's not cutting into anything. At least visible. It's not. Remove this uh, like so. And collapse. Add in the edges in here, in here, in here. Turbo smooth. There we go. We get this nice look. And a very important thing here is if we're going to be using it as such, what we do want to do here is we want to flip the normals. So I can either uh, go in here, select everything and hit flip. There we go. And the reason for flipping the normals is that uh, I want to uh, have this thing be visible through the glass in here. You know what? I just isolate this thing and select the panel that's going to be glass. That way I'm going to just make that thing uh, transparent. So, all right, select it as such. Well, you know what? Yeah, detach as a clone. No, no, not as a clone. So there we go, and this thing gonna be like this. There we go. Now I can see that I have the inside. This thing is gonna be a uh, different color. No, you're gonna have a different color, whitish. You're gonna have a different color, blah, huh? darkish. Cool. Now let's make it so that this thing does have that bit of a curve on the front. Like I said previously, let's just select these guys and this one and give it that small push outwards like so. That's going to be enough. Select that one, select this one, move it outwards. Make sure it's not going above the first one or beyond the first one, maybe like this. And select this and boom. Ever so slightly, we get this uh, small curve on the front. 
And that's it. Now add in some, uh, oh, let me check and see. Yeah, there is a small curve here. So this thing is not really that sharp. So let's try and make this thing a tad bit less pronounced. And that is going to be by just selecting this edge and moving it a bit to the inside, like so. And there we go. If I want to get that thing, let me check if, oh yeah, I can add in one more edge in here like so. But this is really going to pinch it up on this side. I have to, oh. Actually, this is a really, really uh, good time to ask you guys. I know that usually when I make these streams, they're more or less like for design-like stuff, like houses and stuff. Uh, what do you guys think about uh, this type of a stream, like making stuff on the go, like making mistakes and fixing all that stuff? Because this is the uh, type of uh, idea that I have for the streams that I want to do on Twitch. So they're going to be more like modeling certain things, opposed to like design. All right, right there. All right, symmetry on, boom. Can you make something with an exploded view? What the hell is an exploded view? All right, we got that thing done. Okay, wait, something is not right here. Let's fix this. There we go. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the thing, though, uh, about my older videos. I liked that uh, idea where I was just making stuff uh, more focused on one particular thing. And that's what I want to get back to doing it again. Because uh, up until now, well, at, la at least for the last, like, five or six months, I've been playing around with uh, all of the streams. And I'm going to be honest, I'm loving it, man. I'm really loving it because it's a very communicative i can talk to you guys hear what you guys think and it's awesome for me at least but i still miss making those videos that were just like more aimed at a certain particular something so what i want to do is i want to spend some time on playing around with uh, things on Twitch and everything that we do in there. I can just later on just meld it into a tutorial and put it on YouTube I don't want to put everything on YouTube because uh, it's really going to Swamp the channel. It's going to over fill it and I don't want to do that. I want to keep the streams on YouTube and tutorials, but for like the playing around with stuff eh, I like to keep uh, I would like to keep it up on Twitch uh, well, watch. I find myself moving birds too much. Especially when happens when I import my house, I'm like, get him around. Yeah, PBR texturing is not a bad thing to do it, but it will take time because, uh, like I've explained previously, PBR texturing workflow is more or less game uh, model, game modeling. Okay, that's fine. I get this front. Now, what I do need to make here is... Oh, snap. There is this thing here. I did not see it. Uh, 
Okay. Added poly. Let's add in this thing. Well, let's add in that as well down to here. Maybe like this. Now let's cut in one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and one, two. Three, I'm going to translate this thing all the way up to the back. No tension, hopefully. Cap it there. Remove that. Okay. here mm, do we have anything to cut in from no we don't over here on this side uh, quads are everywhere I don't really want to play with that one so let's try maybe like this Mmm, cutting in that one would create some problems. I go remove that. Okay, so remove this. Now, if I simply take this thing inwards one slight turn like this, pull it in one more time, turn on edit poly. Yeah, I'm going to have some issues in pinching over here. Let's check out and see what the problem is. Yep, I did not cut this thing all the way down. Do I have any more issues? Nope. I may need to move a few vertices, but all in all, it's a clean cut. Let's show the cage. Go move this over here, move some of these guys back a bit, like so. Move those here, move that thing up. I'm going to need to add in one more cut in there. So let's hit it with a chamfer. Turn on the other thing. All right. Remove this. Now select that thing. Cut it from there. Let's try it like this. Ah, uh, this might be a bit of a problem but it's a flat surface a triangle there would let's see uh, 
Yeah, that's gonna work. That's fine. Just check this edge in here, move it down like so. I'm just trying to get the outline for the corners as well. There we go. So it turns right up until here. Here I need an extra corner to help me deal with this turn. Which really shouldn't be that curved, so that's fine. But you know what? I think I'm okay with this cut for this. It's clean, it's fine, it's no problem. So there's really no need to make it complicated. So select a border, uh, create a shape out of it. Select a shape. Edit poly on it. Now move it up front. Let's really quickly add in some cuts. You are useful, Dennis. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me that I'm useful. All right, cut it. What the hell is ah? Of course. All right. Uh, is this thing flipped? No. Nope. Why? Why is it? Yeah. There we go. All right, cut like that. Go from here to here. It's a weird way to place to have a vertex, but whatever. Uh, triangular poly or triangle is not a very um, desirable thing because when you're unwrapping sometimes it can give you some weird uh, results especially if you're using max and another thing is when you're using turbo smooth it will generally always make quads so when you have a triangle on a surface that's not planar and max does the um, qu quadrifying with the turbo smooth you can get a bit of a problem you can get some weird, uh, like, dark spaces. You can get some weird shapes. So that's why if you have a planar surface, then you can get away with uh, triangles. Otherwise, you want to keep it down to using quads. So let's check it out like this. Yeah, see, this is fine. You have this. Uh, I just add in one more edge in here, and now with a turbo smooth. Nope, not what I was hoping for. Uh, have you had a project where you mo uh, modeled? gothic altars or churches no I have not but that sounds amazing I would love to try that thing ah uh, uh, with flat surfaces triangles are fine engons are not Angons are never fine. Stay the hell away from angons. If you have a flat surface and you have an angon, finish it off with a triangle. Disregard what I, uh, Ian Adams said. Angons are never fine. Angons are the bane of uh, your existence. Stay away from angons. Alright, give it a different color this thing. 
Wait, so what the hell is this? That is fine. If you use an Engon, we're gonna send the Engon police over to your place. You're gonna, you're gonna get arrested, man. I'm sorry, this cannot go unpunished. I'm calling the 922 Engon police. That's not a 911. That's a 922. There we go. That's uh, nice to have that swiveling here. So I just need to make that inner piece for those two. Hey, uh, one more thing that I just noticed a bit. Wait, why did I use the Sengan over here? Just use it up here. Ah, you're right. It will. I'm just pulling your leg. Whoa. Hey, whoa, wait a second. What the hell did I just do? Oh man, what? Oh, don't tell me. Don't. No. Ah, oh, shh. Please don't let me be this dumb. Okay. Woo! Uh, I almost just screwed up the cut that I did here. I was like, why the hell do I have this uh, edit poly on top of the thing? I was like, yeah, no. All right, save now. Turn this goddamn over. Shit. Uh, are you guys doing this thing when you're working? You would like spend maybe half an hour, maybe an hour trying to do something. And then in a matter of seconds, you just like screw up your stuff and continue on like no nothing happened. And then when you figure out, you just go like, yep, I'm an idiot. Yep, I'm happy I'm not the same. I'm not the only one. <sighs> it's just one of those things when you do something so ridiculously stupid, you just have to like stop and go like, I admire myself and my stupidity. Usually happens when I'm usually very, very tired. All right, so delete this second part. One there, another one in here. Move it upwards and start moving. Oh, hey, no. All right, that's a good question. What was the most silly thing you've uh, made a mistake on? For me, my guess would be that uh, I was working on a project. We were in a very, very, let's just say it, over burn time. We had to finish it up and we were at major crunch time. So, I was working that day, I think, almost 20 hours. So what happened is near the end of the day, we I had to finish up a, a model for a scene and we just needed to have an extra, I think it was a dishwashing machine. Yeah, it was something like, 
Yeah, was it a dishwashing machine? Yeah, it was some sort of a dishwashing machine, something like that. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. No, no problem. I'll do it. Just give me a uh, what sort of a machine you like. And they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll need a dishwashing machine. I was like, okay. So I started working on it. And three hours later, when I finally finished it, I realized the problem of my uh, project was that instead of making a dishwashing machine, I was making uh, one of those um, pol polishing machines. I don't know the, how the hell they're called. Namely, it was a machine that was totally not the one that I needed to do. To do. So I spent almost like three hours working in uh, like autopilot, not even figuring, uh, like not even realizing what I was b b uh, making. I was just like, nope, my brain is out. That's it. Select this. All right, now select this corner, select. smooth on I was one with two iterations are fine dude don't even mention memes I do not need memes in my head right now all right that's enough to deal with that turn all right that's fine I'm gonna have a way of like doubling this thing down as two machines. So hit it with a symmetry, turbo smooth on. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now the koala has a big mouth. Ah oh, man. Oh hell no! I'm I'm not joining Instagram. I generally I hate uh, using social media, and Instagram is the bane of social media. So I, I do not like that thing. Oh wait, wait a second! Whoa, what is this? So now I need to move these guys. Show me the cage. Where's the beef?
<laughs> uh, the first, what's the first thing? Well, I guess the first uh, max that I ever started playing uh, around with, or just like testing it out, was be probably around 2007, 8. Yeah, the internet was a much more undeveloped place back then. Tutorials were, well, not non-existent. Learning Max back then was <laughs> much more of a hassle than nowadays. Nowadays you can find anything on the internet. YouTube, hell man. YouTube. YouTube's worth a lot of money. And back in the day, well, learning 3DS Max or pretty much anything was a real hassle. Uh, I cannot get the koala look out of my head, man. Look at this thing. Look at this damn koala with his big uh, mouth and the big belly. And it's a weird. It's weird, man. Weird. All right, well. Oh man, Softimage. Softimage was a really, really cool uh, software. It's a damn shame that Autodesk just bought it out and killed it. They were like, oh yeah, you have this Softimage uh, software. How about we buy it and then we kill it? That was a dick move from their side. Then. Keep the memes in your head. Nobody wants to be thinking about memes right now. line for this because it's kind of like the look need to make a few changes one there you're looking at my hobbies right now this is my hobby and well I go to the gym that's about it I hit the gym, I do 3D, and I watch videos about doing 3D, and yee, yeah. Alright, that's fine. 
the hell is some reason this lower portion here all right let me just move some of these guys in a bit I'm naming this stream modeling stream this is no Japanese house stream Fine. This looks kind of okay. This damn koala bear doesn't get out of my goddamn head. Alright, whatever. Just select this. Make it like so. Uh, detach. on the Z all right right here that's fine edit poly this then uh, select this bottom or top part here I'm gonna make it separate I'm gonna I don't want it to be the same uh, geometry with this namely because I want to get uh, this thing to go across the whole thing and here it's being a bit of a problem for me so all right you can Hey Mara, no problem. You tried to make a donation, but it's unavailable for your region. What region is that? And what did you try for the donation? Because from what I know, uh, well, at least the things that I have uh, made, it's, it's uh, for PayPal and for whatever uh, YouTube uses. I, I have actually no idea how the super uh, chat thing works. Uh, do we have... Is there anybody here who has used Super Chat? Let me see. Stanley, Stan, are you here? I know for a fact that Stanley is uh, here because I can see, but I think he's idle. He's either away or I. Ooh, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Looks like an appendix. Yeah, well, Stan, tell. Uh, tell Mar Marta how it's uh, how the super ch uh, super chat thing works. I have no idea how that thing works. All right, so for this, center and go to symmetry on the Y again. Yep, Y it is. I'm actually going to go in and just move the symmetry Y to here. All right, so with this now, if I select one underneath 
I want to need it. If I leave it as such. Ah, so you... Okay, alright. So the thing it doesn't allow you to do is use the super chat. I, I understand. Alright, well, for donations things, I have the PayPal. And I know for a fact that that thing works because Karen left me a donation. And I think it was Sarah as well. Let me see. I think it was... Yeah, I think it was... Sarah. Sarah, are you here now? Yeah, I have Sarah and Karen. They have both left a PayPal thing, a PayPal donation. Had some vents in the sides. Why do you need vents? It's not a goddamn car. Plus, it's never going to be seen, so, yeah. Hmm. Actually, when I take a look at this, what kind of comes into mind is why not just why make it complicated like this when I can just select this guy, pull it back. Delete this. And there we go. Now, let's cut in some of the cuts. Here, here. Here. Cut, 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 God damn it. There we go. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Cut from there to there. And should have just inset it first, but goddamn it, fine. You know what? Let's just do that. Yeah, no worries, Marta. The thought is what it counts. The donations are a nice touch, but what I'm actually really, really uh, hoping is that coming here and uh, following the streams and following the videos, you learn something new. If that thing happens, I'm okay. There we go, that's fine. The cut is there. I'm never gonna stop thinking about this as the koala. You know what? It's, it's fine for now. It's all right. I just want to get one thing out of my head so I can test it out and see if this thing is gonna work. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't, well, that's gonna be cool. I copy it here. Get in here. Turn off. Yeah, that's actually work you know edit only again select this remove it again now 
go in here, effect pivot only center to object. Rotate this thing under no. Okay. So if what if I do it like this then? Select this. Take it 180. Pull it down to here. And mirror this thing on the Z. No clone, no copy, no nothing. Just do it. Mm -mm. Well then, what if I do just a regular symmetry on this? Symmetry on the Y. And move the symmetry up like this. Uh, to everybody that's wondering what the hell is going on right now, uh, I'm trying to do it so that I have another version of this where this second part is going to be on the lower part and this is going to be flat. So we can put them one stacked one on top of the other and the one can be the, uh, the washer, the other one can be the dryer. So that's what I'm trying to do, but apparently at the moment I'm failing a bit. this no need this well actually you know what we can do it like so uh, fudge select this whole thing with that edge, make it planar on um, the Z. No, nope. the X. The hell, where's it supposed to be the planar thing? There we go. Oh, of course. All right, make it planar on the Z. No. All right, so it's. Y. Put it to about maybe like so. And now I'm going to have to fix the koala. Get the koala to be planar on the Z again. All right, let me just save first before I do something else. So, all right, planar on the Y. Alright, get that edge and once so one cut damn it. One there, one there. Chamfer it. Alright, now the chamfer on this thing just Collapse, collapse it here as well. Turbo smooth on. Hmm. All right. Uh, hmm. 
copy this thing as well over to this side move it upwards to there now for this just so it's no longer a koala remove this uh, grow grow all right remove that selection grow one more time remove this one and this one actually select all of this delete and now cap connect 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 I can probably get rid of a lot of these but for now I just want to get everything in turn this one on oh yeah that's gonna work now let me just quickly get rid of some of this oh I cannot get rid of that one that one yeah no problem not gonna change anything this one is not changing anything this one yee, that's gonna change stuff over here what about this one nope changing nothing there we go we simplify that uh, model And we got two koalas. Yep. Bob's your uncle. We got a washer and a dryer. And the great thing about these two is that, well, we can stack them on the top of each other. And here's the interesting thing. Uh, for example, if uh, I take this and just call this uh, dryer all this thing a washer group washer we can just now take one stack on top of the other and when you're looking at it you get this nice swivel on the top and this nice swivel on the bottom and the one on the top is a very uh, worried koala and the one on the, the bottom is a koala that has no no mouth this is just a koala that's very contempt, just like gazing in your soul. It's like, look into my soul, mortal. I'm a koala. <laughs> oh man, I love this. All right, back to what was generally supposed to be the focus on this stream but it turned out into a koala making machine all right now let me see what have you guys done what you guys done is you have I got 38 people watching now and 30 likes so far so somebody has not liked this thing so some that tells me that somebody in this stream hates koalas whoever you are shame on you Let's find it. Twitch, Japanese style koalas, washing machine, merge file. You see, the scene. There you go. Boom. And freeze all. And delete that. Freeze that thing again. Every time you like this video, Koala is saved. All right, so. Koala machine. Koala washer. Koala 
blood dryer. You get out of there. Uh, this one's supposed to be on the bottom. You get right in there. center to center and you're gonna get right up there well actually you know what to just scale that thing down it's all about the koalas Watch the stream, save a koala. All right, chamfer, dish. Okay, that's about 0 0.5. Oh, wait a second, no, don't, don't chamfer this before resetting the X form. Now we can jump for this. Zero point three, zero point two. Uh, Ian, yes, I do. I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays on YouTube, but I've been uh, really, really considering starting some regular uh, streams on Twitch. But uh, that remains to be seen. For the last couple of uh, days, I've been finally trying to finish up that premium tutorial. That is premium tutorial that has been uh, like delayed for a very, very long time. And initially, it was about three hours ish of video, and now it's over four hours long. And I still keep adding new stuff. So yeah. But it's like 97% finished. Um, everything goes right. Should be done either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow is March 8th. Should I have to do some stuff other? Oh. 0.3. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow is uh, Women's uh, International Women's Day. So happy 8th of March to all the women that are in the stream now. I almost forgot. Chamfer 0.3. Yeah, yeah, I got this one, the smaller. one in there let's go two three ah damn there we go we got some shelves we got our washer we got our dryer we got our koalas we got a nice folding table here that's everything is really really cool why don't you use Unreal Engine for designing and modeling and other stuff? Uh, I have never seen anybody model in Unreal. But I did put the... Well, actually, I showed this thing at the beginning of the uh, stream. 
I actually did put the um, actual uh, scene inside Unreal so I can see how it looks like. I mean, it looked it looked okay. Sure, I can send you the koala. Hit me up on uh, God damn it, what's it called? On Discord. Uh, maps, testing map. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good thing I need to... Uh, see, uh, does anybody know if uh, Google will allow you to uh, share your uh, folder with certain people that can only like download stuff from there? So I can like get everybody who has ever like either donated or supported in any way that I can share with them. Oh, what is this? Okay, so lighting is a bit crap. Unlit. All right, so. Ah, damn it! Get rid of that thing. Yeah, Google Drive. I'll have to see how that thing works. Anyways, uh, I did put the uh, house here inside uh, Unreal so I can see how this thing looks, but lighting, let's uh, just preview, let's build the lighting really quickly so I can see how this thing looks, but yeah. Yeah, see, um, I've never been much of a uh, Google Drive user, so that's why I don't know. Yeah, building lighting, always fun. But yeah, this is our house in Unreal. It kind of looks fine. Actually, really good for referencing out and seeing what you've done. But for this one, yeah. Yes, I did use Datasmith to import the house. It's the same house, dude. Uh, this is what you're seeing here in 3ds Max. That is the same house inside uh, Unreal. The only thing that you're seeing there is the fact that it has uh, this... Uh, piece added to it like the patio the cover it has that thing it's the same exact house if you take a look at this thing and you take a look at the house in unreal it's the same exact house if i get remo uh, removed of that those things but this damn lighting needs to be built and since i have no lighting in here it's gonna look weird holy crap i just noticed it's 6 p.m Well, the time for this stream went by very, very fast, and all we got to share, sh show for this stream is, well, two koala bear looking machines for washing and drying your clothes. Wow. Ah, <sighs> man, that was that was very, very fun. <laughs> All right, I'd like to thank everybody that was with me today. I had quite a bit of fun. Uh, these machines turned out to be a lot of fun to play with, make them. We made some mistakes, uh, fixed those mistakes. We made some geometry, and now we got two machines that we can uh, reuse in uh, this stream, and we can probably even reuse it in future streams that we make where we ch uh, ch well, where, where we take another topic. But all in all, it was a very fun stream. So I'd like to thank everybody that was with me. Uh, I would like to thank even uh, uh, Maria, who said that she tried to donate, she couldn't. Doesn't matter. The co what uh, counts is the talk. And yeah, that would be it for today. 
next stream would be on Tuesday and by then I'm kind of hoping that I actually start uh, doing the, the Twitch streams as well. Now the, the Twitch streams are going to be a bit different. Uh, one of them or one of the sections in the Twitch streams that I'm kind of uh, leaning towards I have a, I even in my head I have a name for it. It's going to be called the Noob Chronicles. And that is basically oh, it's Marta, not Maria. Ah, it's fine. Sorry, Marta. The Noob Chronicles is going to be basically me testing out new stuff, stuff I've never tried out, maybe even some softwares that I've never tried out and learning them. And then when I learn some good stuff, take the summary of what I've learned, meld them into uh, into a easy to learn tutorial and share it with you guys on YouTube. And if you are one of those guys that likes to uh, join in on Twitch, then you can join in there and join me in my noob uh, chronicles. As I think that's going to be a very, very fun thing to do as well. But for today, that would be it. There isn't much to show except the two koalas and we are very proud of them and it was a very fun uh, stream. So for now, you, all you guys can do is if you still haven't done it though, although I think most of you that are on here have done it and that is go in there, hit the like button and yeah, make this video, make YouTube know that you guys like these videos so it can share it to more people so more people can join us and we can have some more group fun with making some more of koalas up until then as i always say when the stream ends peace